so welcome back guys in the previous video we have talked about some basic uh, windows uh, used inside the unity which is a uh, popularly known as a, a game development software so in this video we are going to learn uh, some part 2 uh, of the some basic but uh, still uh, useful in the game development material so uh, inside the game development uh, you are making 3d assets in another software and then import inside the unity so uh, importing any uh, any kind of asset or any type of asset inside the unity is uh, too easy so there are several ways to import the asset uh, the first way is you uh, you just uh, take the folder you, uh, i have these textures uh, downloaded here and you can just drag and uh, drop inside the unity and it will just import the assets all um, by itself so uh, another method is you can just uh, uh, right click and uh, click on show in the folder and it uh, open the folder which you are uh, inside the unity and you can simply copy uh, the asset you want to import and then just paste inside the uh, folder inside the file explorer and it will uh, directly come inside the unity uh, so it's taking some time and yeah here we are uh, it is inside the unity and again another method of which is uh, not that much useful method but you can just go on the top of the unity and uh, click on the assets and import new asset so you can just uh, uh, select any asset and hit import so it will just import uh, right there uh, so and this was just about the importing assets this was uh, i have just imported the texture but importing anything will be same as this text so uh, talking about uh, making games you have uh, the basic part of the game which is terrain so, so uh, to make a terrain inside the unity which is uh, really drawable and which is really easy to use so for creating a terrain you just go into the hierarchy and click right click and then go inside the 3d, uh, 3D objects and here uh, here the option call it terrain and click on the object terrain and it will just uh, uh, spawn the terrain at the uh, center of the screen uh, which is transform and rotation all are zeros uh, so uh, we have added this terrain press f to focus on this or uh, you can just drag and um, just see the terrain this is too huge terrain for a game you can just uh, fix up a single level inside this terrain easily as you want so uh, for drawing this terrain you have to uh, if you want to draw a mountain or any river or uh, you should uh, you want to just uh, pull over some uh, up and downs on the terrain it is so easy to done inside the unity uh, like a sculpturing in any other software it's uh, too easy inside unity also so you just have to click on the terrain and uh, inside the inspector we have the properties about our terrain so inside the properties panel we have the component called terrain click on the component and here is the uh, paint terrain option which is brush like icon click on that icon and you have uh, uh, several lot of option here raise or lower paint holes paint texture set height stamp height and uh, stamp terrain so we are just going to talk about this for now raise or lower the terrain so this blue thing is the brush size of our terrain so it's too small for now so i'm just hitting ctrl z to go back uh, so for increasing the brush size we have here brush size option and you can just increase however how big you want so it is now big uh, big too much so uh, you can just uh, click and just uh, start drawing the uh, heights on your terrain so uh, we are going to uh, we are just raising the terrain but if you want to lower this down this part if you think this part is too high if you just want to lower this down then hit the control on your keyboard and just then uh, start to uh, start again to start to click so uh, this will raise the uh, terrain height by too much and after kick, uh, after you hit shift and then press uh, click then it will just lower down the terrain so uh, this uh, direct click to uh, just uh, raise up the terrain and shift click to lower down it so you can uh, increase the opacity by here uh, with which you can uh, as, uh, raise the terrain with serious amount or uh, you can put the opacity to down to raise with it just a little amount for the smaller details inside your terrain so uh, this was just uh, uh, a terrain raising and lowering tutorial but uh, we have several lot of option inside the terrain like uh, uh, 
the painting terrain and uh, so on so we are just going go through uh, going through the uh, simple painting texture on the terrain so go inside the paint texture uh, window and uh, here we have the option of edit terrain layers and we have to click on the create terrain and uh, you can uh, select any texture you want from your asset folder you just have to uh, search that folder like uh, uh, i have the uh, texture called bricks so you can just click on the bricks and it will be just applied on the uh, all of all the terrain but this is just one layer we can create another one like uh, this one layer and you can start drawing it on the terrain so you can just select this layer and uh, Mm, from this increase uh, you can uh, increase the opacity something like 78 and whatever you want you can just uh, start drawing on the terrain so you can see we are uh, started texture painting but this is too small uh, for painting on the texture you can just increase the side of the size of the texture by here uh, which is size uh, should be 100 by 100 so now this is big enough image to see through from uh, this much big view so you can just again resize this also like 100 by 100 so 100 by 100 is too much huge size because uh, all the game objects inside your game window uh, would be small small like if you add a default cube of the uh, unity it is just that small like you can see it is this small uh, in front of this terrain so you can just raise up it here and you can see that this is the cube and this huge is the terrain so uh, you just have to uh, take the default values of the texture which have uh, which is size is 2 and uh, uh, there you are you can draw the cool terrain in the unity we are not going into that much detail for now because this is just a beginner tutorial so uh, talking about i have already talked about the importing assets in the uh, your game so if you want to import a 3d model like i have here a 3d model called lamborghini 3d model so uh, you can directly import it inside the unity so here is the 3d model in the fbx format you can just uh, pull it over and drag it down inside the unity and just come back to unity it will just uh, import that object and now for adding it uh, adding that object to your scene you can just uh, uh, take that object or drag into the uh, hierarchy or just inside the scene window uh, wherever you want uh, so uh, this is the object or if you want to focus on the object as we have talked about yesterday's video you can just press F to focus on this object but now as you can see this is uh, this uh, car is just looking so much dull I haven't imported any texture of this car uh, so here are the textures of this car like this this and this uh, so just uh, simply uh, drag and drop again the textures inside the unity folder so now here this is the texture uh, which is base color of the car so uh, this uh, already applied default applied the material because it was in the fbx format but if you want to create a material uh, so in the go inside the project panel uh, hit right click and inside the create window uh, you you should find the material here and you can name the material whatever you want like i am naming it car or lm Lamborghini so I have just uh, named it Lamborghini after this car so you can just uh, uh, drag this image and put it inside the albedo map and you can just drag this material and put it on your car so this material has been applied on your car very successfully you can just uh, adjust the metalness of the car and uh, smoothness of the car and uh, it will just uh, as you want uh, uh, this after adjusting too much metallic and smoothness it will just turn out to be black so uh, i think for a car this metallic value and smoothness value is fine so we have another maps called metallic maps and specular max but uh, this is too uh, high for you now so we are going to talk about it on, uh, after some time so talking about this when you hit play button this uh, car doesn't just do anything so uh, if you uh, click on this car and here we have options of add component if you want to make this car uh, fall freely inside the uh, window like apply the physics on this car you should just uh, click on the add component uh, these are component where you can add any scripts or whatever you want to add on this car uh, any component you want to add so uh, we are talking about uh, rigid body rigid body uh, search here a rigid body and hit on this rigid body 
we have applied a rigid body component on this car so uh, what it does uh, if you just uh, uh, manage to adjust the camera in front of car uh, it would take uh, so much several lot of time so uh, just uh, adjust the scene view on the car and press ctrl shift and f to just adjust the camera at the position of uh, where you are seeing the window now after you can hit play inside the unity window which is uh, uh, play run here uh, which where the car is started to free fall the only this is because of this rigid body component if you just remove this component and then now hit you play uh, then when uh, the game uh, plays it does not do anything so we have simply uh, discovered the uh, new component called rigid body so rigid body does uh, simply does is uh, add the mass to the object and make it free fall in the uh, space so you can adjust the mass of the body and drag and angular drag if you learn anything about the physics in uh, your school then you can understand all these concepts so uh, you can uh, adjust the mass if uh, this is car its mass should be 1200 something or a drag should be just one is drag is fine so put the drag always to be one is a fine value for now and uh, mm, I think this is it for this video we haven't talked about that much in this video but I think you have learned so much lot of about unity more but uh, we are going to talk about uh, so many things uh, in the future uh, tutorial I am gonna upload daily one video about this series uh, but uh, I can tell you in one month you have developed uh, your first only one, uh, own game so uh, if you have any doubts like uh, uh, in anything or in further video suggestion you can just go in, uh, go through uh, go through the description and click on the uh, my instagram link and you can direct dm uh, dm me on the instagram and i will love to uh, clear out all of your doubts so i guess this is it for this video so we will meet in the next one and uh, by the way this car is uh, from the site sketchpad.com i have also link of uh, this car inside your description so till then bye